So in this video, we're going to look at the Philips Hue Tap Switch. This is a four button switch. And what's really cool about this is it actually works off the kinetic power of you clicking the buttons. So there's a click click sound and no battery required. So battery is not included or even required, which is pretty awesome. Um, this does require the Philips Hue Gen 2 bridge. So the square one, um, you're going to need that if you want to interface with uh, Amazon Madam A or HomeKit or any of the above. So assuming you have those, this is actually a uh, pretty interesting product. Let's take a look. So for the Apple HomeKit videos, of which this is one, I'm always saying look for the HomeKit logo. In this case, you're not going to find that on this Philips Hue box. All you're going to see is the, the fact that this is a switch. It is, uh, you can place it anywhere, recall your favorite scenes. You don't need a battery. It's just a Philips Hue box. And, and if you look at the box, it would suggest that you are, um, you're basically going to be able to only use this with Philips Hue. So the HomeKit interface and the Amazon interface really comes through um, the Philips Hue Gen 2 bridge. So I'm assuming you've already got that. This is a fairly um, little, little round, little chunky. It's, I, I don't know about the aesthetics of it, but um, as far as a HomeKit button, there aren't those that many of these on the market right now. Um, so Philips Hue does make two. They have a dimming switch as well as the tap button. You've got instructions in here. Um, the other uh, button on the market right now is the Logitech Pop. And the Fabaro company just released, or uh, actually not released, announced at CES 2018 a HomeKit button. So, which is kind of cool. Um, we're starting to see more and more in this space. Of course, we got the instructions here, so we won't uh, we won't bore you with these. Let's just get in, go over to the Hue app, and discover this guy. So, because this is a device that's connecting through the Hue Bridge, we're not going to discover this in the Apple Home app. We've got to connect it to the Hue Bridge, and then it'll just automatically show up. So, we're going to go into the Philips Hue app, make sure that's updated to the latest one, and we're going to click on the little plus button and say we're going to uh, Hue Tap Switch. So we're going to pick that guy and it says hold down the um, four dot button for 10 seconds. So we're going to do that here and wait until this is successfully discovered by the Philips Hue bridge. So I do not have to be standing close to this. I'm actually across the house right now. So unlike some of the other Zigbee products like the IKEA gateway bridge where you have to be really, really close, um, this is just going to show up even across the house. We're going to ask it, okay, add switch. What room do I want to put this in? We're going to put this in the kids room. We can click on the setup button. Um, so I do not want to use Philips Hue here to control this switch. So right now you can see it's the not configured state. So I'm going to click on this. And of course, I could go in and configure this for my Hue devices, but I don't want to do that. I want to use this as a HomeKit controlled switch. So if we scroll down here to the bottom of the page, you're going to see there's this um, little configure for Apple HomeKit. We're going to click on that link automatically the Apple Home app is going to going to flip up and we're going to be given the choice to either install it if you haven't already or open it and we're going to flip directly over into the Apple Home app from here so really really smooth transition the Philips Hue because this is a bridge device we're going to have to go and look at um, wherever your bridge device whatever room it's in that's where this is going to be located so in my case it happens to be in the kids room and so now I can go in and configure this switch to do whatever actions I want. I've got four buttons here. So I'm just going to take the button number one, which is the up button, and turn the lights on. Button number two, I'm going to obviously take to the turn off. So I've already got scenes created here. So kids office on. And I've got um, no turn off action, turn off never, right? So I could test the action from here if I wanted to. Uh, so now you can see single press is kids office on. And I'm going to actually choose the third button, which is um, top button is number one, left button is number two, bottom button is number three, right button is number four. So I want top one on, bottom three off. Makes it really easy, makes it just like a regular light switch. And that, that's really it. It's as easy as that. Um, nice, simple, clean really great user experience adding this in and i can uh, as was recently asked you can assign this any, any of these buttons to any scene that you create in homekit which means literally with a touch of a button you could turn on or turn off every light in your house every device in your house all the plugs all the above so you really have a lot of flexibility with these and they're um, reasonably priced as assuming you've already got the philips hue bridge so with that, um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. It really does help a lot. Uh, if 
you found this helpful, thumbs up, give me that like, that would be wonderful. And if you want to learn more about working with Apple HomeKit and making your house a little smarter, please check in the link below. There is uh, a coupon, a sale code for my Udemy class working with Apple HomeKit. If you guys have any questions, you know what to do. See you next time.